It is the two guard from the Adelaide Lightning, Jess Foley. Thanks for talking to us today. Yeah, no worries. Tell us what's going on with the Adelaide Lightning in the off season. Well, uh, Adelaide Lightning, we've had a big recruiting boom in the off season, so uh, we've managed to bring in about four or five players, really quality players from around the league, and we've even managed to get Renee Camino back from overseas. So. Um, yeah, we're still waiting for a few people to get back from injury. We haven't had everyone on court, but it's definitely been a good off-season for us. Tell us, Renee Camino, uh, she had a knee injury. Is she going to be good to go at the start of the season? I think probably not in the first couple of games, but hopefully um, a few games in she'll be back and in full force. So she looks good running around and jumping, so yeah, she's getting there. And tell us about some of the other players that you got in the team as well. So we, uh, we brought in Lisa Warburton from New Zealand, uh, and she's doing really well. She's um, slotted into Tracy Gayhan's spot uh, really nicely. Uh, Shelley Gersten has come in, Nikki Martin, uh, Kelsey Island from the Institute. Uh, and then we've uh, retained about four or five players from last year and, and brought in a couple of locals. So, um, yeah, we're really happy with the blend and, and all of the personalities we've got coming together at, at, in Adelaide at the moment. Shelley Burston, who is that? I've never even heard of her. <laughs> Shelley Hammonds. Ah, oh, Shelley Hammonds, of course. And how's she? She hurt her knee at the end of last season. How, what sort yeah. of shape is she in? So she's in great shape. She's really working hard to get back, and, and hopefully we'll have her on court soon. Nice. And you're rocking a bit of a different uniform this year, a little bit redder. Yeah. So bright. It's nice, isn't it? It is. Yeah, Pops, I like it. Something different, something different, but oh. um, yeah, you'll, you won't miss us, that's for sure. You've been wearing a different coloured uniform in the off-season. A little bit of green and gold for you. Oh, How was your time with the Australian Opals program? Oh, that was great. Um, you know, I've, I've been in the squad a few times and never really had much opportunity um, to get out there. So to get five games in with the Opals um, was definitely a really big thing for me. And, and coming back off, a, off another ankle injury, um, I was just really happy to be out there because, you know, there was a lot of girls injured this year and, and uh, you know, you don't get too many opportunities to play for the green and gold uh, in your home country. So I was, yeah, really proud to be out there. And not that you're not making your own footsteps, but following in the footsteps of another great Australian opal, you are from the Albury-Wodonga region, are you not? I am from good old Albury-Wodonga. I uh, you know, grew up playing for the Albury Cougars and Wodonga Wolves and, uh, yeah, representing the hometown. Nice, that of course, the area that the great Lauren Jackson was from. Now, she's not in the league this year. Who do you think is going to be the most valuable player in the league? Lizzie Cambridge, I think. Uh, probably not a surprise one, but you know, she was just awesome with the Opals. I think if you could have her out there for 30 minutes, she'd probably score 60 points. So, um, yeah, if she just keeps improving, I think she's going to be a force to be reckoned with. I think you might be right. Who's going to go up against her from Adelaide? Kayla Francis will be... Uh, one of your centres, I'm sure. Yeah, I think uh, Kayla uh, will definitely probably be our, our biggest uh, big this year. So um, she'll get some time on her. And I think with any player like that, uh, you can't just have one player trying to contain them. So uh, with her and Elise uh, at Bulleen, we'll definitely need to share the load and, and help out. Is it something that your coach, Vicky Volk, has already talked about? Or, or are you more focused on your own team at this stage of competition? Uh, we're definitely focused on what we're doing at the moment. I mean, we have Sydney coming up first game, and I'm sure we'll look at them a little bit closer to the, the game time later this week. But at the moment, everything's about us and, and just getting our fitness up and, and trying to, you know, learn how each other play. You know, we've got a lot of new players, and you just need to have time together on court and, and work out what combinations are good and, and what's going to work for us. Now, uh, Tracy Gahan, uh, one of the great imports that we've had in the league for the past few years, She's not going to be with Adelaide this year. I'm sure you're not expected to know uh, what happens in the front office, but uh, how come no Tracy this year? Oh, look, we tried to make her Australian and, and keep her here for good. We would have kept her as long as we could, but, um, you know, I mean, she's a quality player and she got a great offer in Europe uh, that was hard to turn down, so uh, she'll be a huge miss for us and uh, we hope that she plays well over there, but if she ever wants to come back... Tracy, come on home. Come on home and bring your double-double form with you. Yeah. Now, it's been a bit of an interesting day today. We've got uh, the launch later today, and uh, we're doing a little bit of stuff with the ABC and also taking uh, some photographs. Mm -hmm. How do you like being in front of the camera? Oh, you know, it's not my most comfortable position, but uh, it's all for good, good fun for the league, and if it gives us some exposure, then it's worth it. Jess, it was lovely to talk to you today, and we wish you all the best for the season and for the Adelaide Lightning. Thank you very much.